it's all about finding it, finding the the finding the essence of trees. And in the beginning, I was struggling. And what I just said, I tried to copy my master. You can never copy calligraphy masters, never. It's impossible. Everybody, please feel free. Bring your paper and pen, and you can copy my work, all of it. You cannot. Like, I cannot copy my master's work and so on because it's so individual and linked to the space and the moment you're making right. it. I cannot even copy my own work. The technique of holding a pen, okay, that's it, right? But how, how do you move uh, yeah. what the result is, yeah. you never know. Yeah. So what, what we experience and with Marling, we, we, we show to people and I, I started doing this, let's say, by coincidence. Yeah, but for the unique. Thing. Yeah, but but this is what Chinese ink and calligraphy is about. The practice, the copying, is the start, and then you need to go somewhere in your right. personal. You yeah. Your own, own, own yeah, you need to go into your own world and 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 just see. And yeah, for me, and and I thought about it deep because I I had a class in Chinese calligraphy at the university and so do I need to read the poems yes or no and the decision is no I don't read the poems because then I'm going to paint the poem and the content and I'm looking for the for the energy and I'm looking for the dynamic and for us the most in, the most difficult part is empty space because we don't have that in our culture no, at all limitless. Yeah, emptiness and, and empty space is, is for us very, very difficult. And that is very deep in the in the Chinese culture and the Asian cultures and so on. We, when we have a canvas, it's like this one or that one, we design the whole canvas. And we call that composition, right? I don't plan, yeah. That, that's, that's different.